Today we're driving the 2023 Lexus UX 250H F Sport Handling All-Wheel Drive. I'm with Substitute Topher. Hello. It's another day. We're in another Lexus. <laughs> and we're going to walk you guys around this, talk about what it's been like to live with this week. We've both spent a little bit of time in this car. Mm -hmm. We know some things about it. Let's hop outside and get started. So we have a two liter hybrid four cylinder that makes 181 total system power, horsepower. It's a nice hybrid system. It drives like a lot of other Toyota Lexus hybrid products. The last UX that we drove just had a CVT and I believe it was a naturally aspirated motor. It was kind of a miserable powertrain. This hybrid is considerably better because it's more fuel efficient, it's a little bit torquier, and it's just nicer and more pleasant to drive. It's more Lexus-like, so to speak. And speaking of Lexus things, this is a very Lexus price tag. Starts for the premium around $45,000. And as spec with some options, which we'll include in the description, this is 50 grand. I think if you step back and look at this car as a whole package, not sure I would pay $50,000 for something like this. It's kind of up front, very comfortable, but in the back, it's pretty tight. This kind of reminds me of the Lexus CT200H. Well, it's kind of the spiritual successor to that car. It is. It's just not as good looking. It's yeah. like well, the CT200H, but uglier. It's SUVized. It's SUVized. It's a lifted CT200H. There's also no room in the cargo area. There's not a lot of room back here. If you thought the new Prius was tight, this is tighter. Yeah, I was shipping some packages earlier in the week with this, and I like couldn't fit them in the back. Yeah. And then I shipped the same packages with the Buick and Vista that we're also driving this week, which is $20,000 cheaper than this, and they all fit with no problem. You can get a lot of Lexus for $50,000. That's true. And for their entry-level model, thanks, that was bothering me too. For their entry-level <laughs> model, that's a steep price tag. But big picture, probably not worth it. Little picture, though, you start to look at some of the details and the finishings in this car... And it's got all the right bits. So I can see where the money has gone. Yeah. I mean, soft. everything is soft. Everything feels high quality. The buttons, the switch gear, the ergonomics, the interior up front, this feels like a $50,000 plus Lexus. It's just that you get out of it and you look back at it and it's just a tiny little hatchback. Yeah, no, that, that's a good point. When it got dropped off this week, I was like, oh, a UX. But then I sat in it and oh. I was like, oh, I'm in a Lexus. It's, it's going to be a good week. Actually pretty nice to drive. <laughs> yeah. What do we have here for tires? These are Bridgestone Taranza EL450s in 225-50R18s. Kind of a cool looking tire. They seem to do pretty well in the wet. We'll test that out today. I assume this just takes regular fuel. Though being a Lexus, you never know. You gotta hit the button right there. There you go. Probably regular. It's like the UX, yeah. Speaking of this, this reminds me. I hit a pothole in this earlier this week so hard that it popped this open. Yikes. And then I got a warning on the dash that oh was like, gosh. fuel lid open. Wow. So, Ouch. Yeah, so don't hit a pothole in your UX. It'll pop your fuel door open. That's funny. <laughs> got some plastic fenders here, but they're painted. We'll give them that much. Uh, let's, Chris, sit in the back seat because okay. I don't want to get back there. You're five foot 11. I'm five foot 10. You're sitting behind my driving position. Let's see how you kind of get back there. Headroom looks good. Headroom is good. Knee room, I am pressed into the seat. Not so much. But I'll come around the other side. Yeah, I don't even think you could fit a rear-facing child seat in this car. It's it's small. This is one of those vehicles where the back seat's more of a shelf than it is a seating yeah. area. Yeah. So you just kind of put stuff back here. Yeah. Uh, but if your stuff wants to charge, you've got two USB-C ports. Mm, probably I feel like this is tighter than the, the IS. I think it's a little tighter than the IS legroom wise, but yeah. head, you've got more headroom. You do have more headroom. Yeah. That's a good point. Okay. All right. And because this is the F Sport, we've got to pop the hood. That's right. And talk about the adaptive dampers. It's not just the F Sport. It's the F Sport handling. And you want to know That's how you can right. tell? white f-sport badge yep that's how you know it's a handling and not just a design if it was a design it would have a gray f-sport badge if you know you know mm -hmm. and people aren't gonna know Ooh. no hood struts that's kind of nice yeah no hood struts for your 50 grand very volkswagen of them <laughs> um 
Actually, we can't see the dampers, but we can kind of see a little bit of a cable going to the adjustable dampers there. Yeah. Uh, I like this engine cover. That's kind of pretty, old school Lexus almost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Look at this tiny little airbox. I know. It's so just a little guy. <laughs> Pretty decent fuel economy though. Uh, 39 MPG combined. What is this? 41 in the city. 42. 42 in the city. 38 on the highway. Something like that. Um, so decent fuel economy in the cold this week. I've been averaging mid 30s. I was getting like 34. 34. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go for a drive. See what it's like. This is all-wheel drive which is good, has its merits. <clears throat> Though with 181 horsepower, I don't think it's gonna do that much good. Today. I was scrolling the sales brochure earlier. Uh, plate of scallops. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Those look really and tasty, And then back actually. to the Lexus UX. Good, yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I think that embodies kind of the, the essence of this car. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. a little bit of seasoning. Not a car. Lexus. Oh, Lexus. That That's makes right. no sense whatsoever. <laughs> um, of course, we, I guess we should talk about the, the new thing with the uh, UX is the infotainment, which doesn't have a home button. No more touchpad. No more touchpad, which is great. Instead, we get lots of heated and cooled seat controls, which is awesome. Love that. Uh, very simple layout in this interior. Wireless charging seems to work pretty well. My phone has stayed on the element this week. And then, I mean, this is the tw same 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment that we see now on pretty much every Lexus and Toyota. It's all kind of the same, which is nice. It's, it's a good infotainment system, mm -hmm. wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, the navigation was freaking out on me earlier this week. Mm -hmm. It said I was kind of in like a void. Oh. Like I was nowhere. It's, it's been weird late, lately with these. As you said, they're in everything now, this, yeah. this infotainment. And I always praise this infotainment for being very good because it's built in Google Maps. It always works well. That's you right. You can just say, hey, Lexus, and it'll, you know, do its thing. Do, do its thing. Um, but Emily and I took a road trip in the Toyota Grand Highlander a couple weeks ago. Could not get the nav to work. Yeah. It would not work. Yeah. So on, on my I, drive back from the podcast the other night, yeah. it didn't work the whole way. I didn't even turn the car off, turn it on, open it up, closed it. What the deal is with these. And they're constantly like freezing and updating. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a bit strange. CarPlay though, haven't had any issues with that. It's yeah. been solid. No complaints there. Uh, we get drive modes, custom, sport, sport plus. Ooh. Eco and normal. Sport Plus looks like the LFA cluster. It really does. Also, that moves just like the IS. Oh, yeah. Got to show that. That's where your 50 grand goes <laughs> right, right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember playing with this in a studio. I was I was shooting the new RC, and I think it was around 2014. Mm -hmm. And this was back when I was doing a lot of photography. And I just sat in studio for about 15 minutes playing with this. It is just one of the coolest, coolest gauge clusters. Of course, you get lots of displays. You can see fuel economy, tire pressure, a calm screen. Uh, we'll just leave it on fuel economy and see how much we burn today compared to my 35.2 MBG average. Yeah, I was driving like a grandma around all week. You actually have a higher average than I did. I did pretty well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just because I drove home and back to here. Oh, So okay. pretty, pretty minimal driving. <laughs> we do get a full color head-up display, which is great. And you can turn that on and off with a press of a button right there. ASC, ooh, app. Have you Act, tried that? Active sound control. Oh, no. You are in for a treat. I you, can't wait. You may want to. So not only does it simulate noise, it simulates gear changes. Ooh, wow. I mean, not like physically, but you'll hear. It sounds like two engines. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like boy racer noises. Okay, all right, we're gonna have to test this out some because this yeah. is this is very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I love it though, like Lexus does it right. They just give you a button to turn it on, turn it off. Yeah. We're in Sport Plus in a Lexus UX. You guys always ask, do you ever get speeding tickets in your press cars? Well, the only ticket, knock on wood, whatever, that I've ever gotten was in a Lexus UX and it was because it was so slow that I had to floor it to go through an intersection on a yellow light. I did not run the red light, but the, the car was making so much noise, the officer who was sitting at the intersection thought I was speeding or just being reckless. 
I was going like 31 miles an hour in a 35 zone. And, um, and I got a ticket for something. He just kind of, you know, yeah. whatever. I got it reduced to impeding traffic or something. But, yeah, you know, that was actually the first off-the-record sponsorship we did. <laughs> so yeah. the Lexus UX hybrid doesn't make as much noise, so you won't get as many tickets in it, which is very nice. <laughs> torque to avoid exactly flying through intersections at 6,000 rpm i don't really know why something like this has a sport plus mode you just drive this like a grandpa everywhere and it's it's actually very comfortable very cozy super quiet very well isolated yeah it rides nice on the suspension even though this is the f sport handling maybe it handles a little bit sharper it's nice to have that adjustable suspension but it's not something i'd actually want to spend money on yeah, the F Sport handling dampers are still plenty soft when you're in normal and eco mode. Mm -hmm. And let's do a little test here. Why not? Yeah. So I mean, it's actually a good amount of grip here. Is that flat out? It's flat out. Okay. 181 horsepower. This this can't be that light. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of features, tack, leather. Let's do ASC again. <laughs> Go from a stop. It's hilarious. Brakes feel nice. Yeah, brakes feel pretty good. It even like idles a little bit. Yeah, it does. Ready? That's like 8,000 RPM. I know. Simulated 8,000 RPM. Does it do downshifts? So you gotta be. You might have to do manual mode though. Short shifts first into second, and then it revs to like nine grand. It's like Fast and Furious. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's just it's such like a funny novelty thing in really a car is. that you wouldn't expect that from. No, not at all. Scallops in the brochure, Fast and Furious noises whilst driving. It actually does handle really quite well. It does. Yeah. Yeah, it handles great. Um, around this corner, up here to the left, which I assume will go around. That's what the engine actually sounds like. Toyota manual shifting CVT mode does nothing. Yeah. So we'll wait. We'll just wait for everyone. Oh, except this Kia doesn't know how to take a roundabout. Yeah, it's silly when people do that. These Taranzas have tons of grip. Yeah. It is a bit greasy out today. <laughs> You're about to dip below 30 mpg. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we've really just squashed my fuel efficiency this week. <laughs> Adaptive cruise control. It's been pretty good this week. I've enjoyed that. Lane centering. Lane tracing. Lane tracing. Mm -hmm. Works about like it does in pretty much every other Lexus. Not class leading, but it gets the job done. Very nice in a pinch if you need it. We're going to turn ASC back on. That is hilarious. It does give you downshifts. Just subtle downshifts. And then it vanished. Oh, there it came back. That is the funniest thing I think I've ever heard with regards to like fake engine noise. That is that is hilarious. Yeah. A child did that. Some engineer's kid was like, "What if? What if we did this?" Yeah. No, you're right. Oh my gosh. A little blip there. A little blip. What a hooligan. All right, let's drive this normally for a second. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Uh, the sound system is quite good, just for being a bass sound system. 
Lexus usually doesn't mess around. Um, and you know, a lot of people think that they need the Mark Levinson, but I think this does great. I don't know if you've tested that out or not. I haven't. Uh, we can do a quick sound system yeah, test. Why not? I do like the steering wheel controls in this UX. They're very yeah. intuitive, they're very easy. They didn't do the stupid steering wheel controls that they did yeah. in the Lexus TX and the R RX. Oh yeah, that is good. Sounds great. It's not even the Mark Levinson, right? No. It really does handle well. I, yeah. I Okay, F-Sport handling, they might have something there. Mm -hmm. We never really get anything else to compare the F-Sport handling packages to, because yeah. they only give us F-Sport handling, handling packages now. Yeah. Um, but I assume this is better. Yeah. It, I mean, it's actually kind of fun to drive. Yeah, well, the F-Sport handling is like the new thing that they're trying to push. Yeah. So that's why all their press cars have it. Oh, yeah. Clip the curb, apex. Yeah. A little bit slow out of the corner. If it only just had another like 100 horsepower. I was gonna say 50. Yeah, 100. 50. 100 would be sweet. I always fantasize about them making a CTF. Oh yeah. Like a hot hatch. Yeah, that would be, be awesome. So cool, but of course they never did. I mean, this is Civic Type R money. Yeah. And it's dang near Integra Type S money. <laughs> So, kind of a hard sell. I th yeah, I mean, you look at this car, I think what I said initially just holds true to our thoughts on it this week. Big picture, you zoom out, you look at it, you step away from it, you're like, why did I spend this type of money on this car? Yeah. There's so many uh, you know, more practical options out there for the money, but you look at the details and it's really nice. But it just has all the other Lexus bits that other Lexuses have mm -hmm. um, for a little bit less money because of the packaging and because of the size of it. It's fuel efficient. It handles well. I guess, I mean, you're not going to get this level of handling with a RX or a NX. NX. Yeah. But you can actually put stuff in those SUVs. I think for like eight thousand dollars cheaper this car would make more sense sure or you know maybe you're getting a, a lower trim for sure. you know high 30s low 40s yeah because this is like option now this is about as expensive as you can get with a ux yeah and who knows what lease deals they have or incentives or money off msrp they have they have going on i don't imagine they sell a ton of these things i was just thinking that like who actually buys this because the nx is kind of their their big seller yeah, NX and RX, of course, have been around for forever. So this is kind of just a weird a weird size, but I suppose they've got to compete in this hot segment. I would say go get a CT200H, like the cleanest one you can find, mm -hmm. for like 15 grand, 17 grand. Yeah. They're probably a little bit more because they've held their value. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love the spec of this car. Red interior, blue exterior. Yeah. You'll never see one spec like this at a dealer. No, it is. It's really cool. <laughs> but, and also, did you notice it had crossbars? That's right. Yeah. It's so rugged. A, yeah. Off-roady. I think that's to reiterate that it is indeed an SUV. Like, look, sure. it has crossbars. Yeah. So, black headliner. Three seat memory settings. I mean, this really, it really does have all the bells and whistles. It does. I love Lexus steering wheel leather. It's I mean, so soft. This is the same steering wheel that's in, like... The LS. It is. You know? Yeah, you drive this, one. and you have a very similar view forward as someone driving a $120,000 Lexus LS. Yeah. <laughs> Just that you look in the back, and it's like, oh, man, oh. there's nothing back there. Yeah. But I guess if you're single, and you have, you know, you just got your... Empty nester? You just got your, your big break. 
paid off student loans. Mm-hmm. You got that corporate gig. Yeah. <laughs> you got the high rise apartment. And you want a little cute runabout. This will do it. It's a, it's a cute Lexus. It's a cute ute. Cute ute. <laughs> cute ute. <laughs> What's this color called? Uh, I should look that up. I don't up. know. But it's beautiful. Yeah, it is nice. Oh, ultrasonic blue mica 2.0. Okay. Nice color. This reminds me of, uh, and it may be the color that they had on the OG ISF. Yeah. Like the... Like the press car ISF, like, sure. you know, like all the press photos. Yeah. It's probably the same. It is sporty. So, yeah. Black roof, dude. Did you notice that? Oh, yeah. Black roof, blue paint, red interior, black wheels. Strange looking taillights. Yeah. They're kind of aerodynamic elements. Yeah. Almost. There's a lot of styling going on. Back there, there really is. It's so angry. I think it would actually look good as kind of a hot hatch performance variant. They could lower it like a, a couple inches. Like a Kona N except yeah. Lexus UX. Yeah. That would be cool. Some That's real cool. awkward proportions. Yeah. And then there's a heck of a door ding right here. Ouch. Right on the body line too. Yeah. Probably All right. by someone who doesn't put their shopping cart back. That's right. <laughs> Cool grill design. Okay, well, that's all we have to say about the Lexus UX 250H F Sport Handling All Wheel Drive, painted in blue mica ultrasonic, ultrasonic 2.0. On Bridgestone so, Tarantas. Yeah, impressive tire. Yeah, handled great in the wet. The, um, the Buick and Vista that we had this week had really good OEM tires. Mm. Yeah, it's I nice when they give you attention. decent tires from the factory. True. I feel like, I mean, this, this seems like they would do pretty well in the snow, too. There's a lot of siping, a lot of tread here going on. Yeah. Run. Oh, these are run flats. You can't even tell anymore what a run flat tire is. Like, you used to be able to hear it, feel it. You didn't have any traction. It was too loud. <laughs> you, you couldn't go around corners. Now, run flats handle amazing and drive amazing. So that's nice, because this probably doesn't have a, a spare tire. Load service is like comedic. This load floor is like as high as the Sequoia yeah. with that extra shelf put up. Uh, yeah, there's, 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 no, there's no spare tire. I don't think there's here. a spare. No way. There's a tow hook though. There's a bunch of different levels to this thing though. It's yeah. interesting. Very interesting. It's like, why couldn't they have just made this that low? Is that because there's stuff in here? Yeah, the packaging here, you know, with Hondas inside of the car, it almost feels like it's bigger than the outside of the car. This car with, is tiny inside. This is so tiny inside. Yeah. You don't feel cramped anywhere, you know, except for like the, the trunk and the back seat. The front seat is pretty comfortable, but yeah, some compromises going on. Fun beeps. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. See you. Cool jacket. Thank you. Yeah. Where's that from? Carhartt. Carhartt. Huh? Carhartt. Work in yeah. progress. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like vintage. Is it like vintage? No, it's brand new. Brand Just new. got it. But is it like school. supposed to be vintage? Uh, it's corduroy. Maybe. I know. Yeah. Neat. Needed a jacket. So. Yeah. I mean, at least you're finally wearing jackets. Thank you. Yeah. I'm noticing that too. We haven't needed them yet this year, but <laughs> no, at least I really we're wearing them. No, I really don't even them. need it today. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> Uh, substitute show for always woefully underdressed for the weather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Off roading in vans. Yep. You know. Yep. Pretty much. Wading through two feet of snow in vans. It's perilous. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Won't be doing much off roading in this. No. Lots of eating scallops, though. Oh, yeah. Scallops. Mm. 